What you're looking at right now is the first ever version of Brawlhalla. There's four characters in the game. You can only play free for all. This is what the main menu looks like. And today we're going to be diving in to see what it's like. I'm going to play as Vrax because he just looks cursed. Now, something to know is that there's no custom options. So like you can only use these keybinds. Some the first thing that you may notice is that to throw a weapon, you have to do a chord input, which is something that doesn't even exist in modern Brahala, which is to say that you have to do J and K, which is light and heavy at the same time to throw. Now, the thing about old Brahala, and this is alpha version 0.0.1, the first ever available on Steam, the frame rate is terrible and there is only one map and it's Brawlhaven. It is extremely laggy. This is not the stream. This is not the recording. This is just how it is. So the first thing that you'll notice is that the sounds are a little bit different and I am Lord Vrax with a sword. And that is because old Brahala didn't have individual characters with different weapons. It was every character with the same weapons. Now the sound is kind of scuffed. This dare is the entire map and it's also instant so you can do stuff like this. Uh, and then you don't even know what's happening. Also, you guys know signatures? Like the thing that's like the signature moves of every character? Yeah, no, nobody has signatures. You'll notice that this is actually Val's Downsig. Yeah, this is true. This is Val's Downsig. It actually got remade or, or reapplied to be uh, to be Val. And this is Bodvar's Sword Downsig. Hammer is kind of crazy because Hammer Nair is literally instant. This move is literally instant. Like, <laughs> it, it, does, it doesn't make sense. Nothing makes sense. The force angles are so weird and wacky. You notice I just did a Sair and then I turned around as I was doing it. Gravity does not exist. Everything is broken. Let's let's take a look at Lance here because their Lance is a little bit interesting You may notice that Lance has a different dare This is this is not the dare that I'm sure most of you are used to you ride the Lance and then your little legs have a hitbox And this move spikes by the way that's hammer side or Lance sidelight Oh, yeah The other thing to note is that combos are just not real like combos are not a thing <laughs> it's, it's all individual hits. Okay, let me let me pick up a Okay, let me pick up guns here because I want to show you guys guns because guns are not real like guns don't exist they're, they're not a real thing that almost killed me you guys like gun dare because I like gun dare yeah 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 no 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 no, no. Yeah, yeah no that's great that's great see the best part though is that gu okay that hit me by the way every single thing you do is so unbelievably laggy yeah so this is the gun end light you may think, oh my god, that is so broken because it hits a billion times. But here's the thing about gun end light. It doesn't even work. Like if you hit the first two hits of gun end light, you can literally just jump out of it. Okay, this bot is not behaving. But yeah, like 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 that dare it just didn't even work. It's it's very interesting. And then gun nair does it like a billion times. Yeah. And then yeah, and then that. And then that. We'll play one more game here. You can't really change the options. So it's stuck at five stocks free for all on Brawlhaven. You thought you thought modern Lance Nair was a force field. Well, imagine that it has like a billion force in white. Yeah, 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 that's Lance Nair. Imagine Lance Nair gimping you from the center of the map. Yeah, Gun Sair has an extra shot and you can like turn around as you're doing it if you do weird enough inputs. That extra st shot spikes you, by the way. <laughs> we'll see if I can get it. I don't, it is so difficult to control. There we go, that extra shot. Sometimes your Gun Dare drops and then because it drops, you can do it into another move. You can Gun Sair in two directions at the same time and then reverse it and hit both people at the same time. Your Gun down or Ensig is cross and then this is also cross. I feel like guns are the most interesting weapons by far. This is me hitting Nair once, by the way, and it does that. The thing is, though, this is alpha, and you kind of still see the baseline, or, or like at least the most basic moves in every kit. Like, that's gun downlight, and sure, like it doesn't combo, this is gun sidelight, but you can still kind of see the idea. But yeah, guns are absolutely ridiculous. Like, it doesn't- like that- like, what was that? What- like, what, what am I looking at? Okay, what is this? You guys think gun dare is bad now? You guys think Gundare is bad now? You can just infinitely loop it. You can just infinitely loop it. I'll show you Hammer Nair again because that one is absolutely ridiculous. It's not real, is, is what it is. Like, <laughs> what is that? It's, the, it's one of the only moves that's actually just instant. I think it's kind of cool though to see that the I, general ideas of the game design are still there since the very beginning. Uh, and a lot of the moves, like you can see that the moves have changed a bit, but they're still the basic design, which I think is very cool. 
Yeah, see, the gun and light just it didn't work. Like, they just walked through it. You, the stun is not long enough. You can just walk through every move. Lance Dare? Wee! Wee! Oh, never mind. It ended. And there we go. That's the first ever version of Brahalla. Very interesting. This is five months later. Welcome to Brawlhalla. You'll notice the main menu looks a lot more developed. There's now a training mode. Cassidy looks a little bit different. Orion is still Volst, but we have a bunch of new characters. Nash, whose name is Throlk, Queen Nye, Hattori, and Thatch. By this point, you'll notice every character also has two weapons. With this version, you can actually do a 1v1. So we're gonna put a hard bot on and see how I can fare. Which character do you think I should play, chat? Hattori, all right, everyone's saying Hattori. The tried and true classic. Now, I have sword and I have spear, so two unique weapons. And sword is absolutely insane. I mean, look at this movement. <laughs> like, you can just zoom across the map. Another thing that you'll notice is directional dodges is now a thing, as well as grounded dodges in certain directions. Sword downlight, by the way, look at this. You literally straight up jump with a giant hitbox with sword down like- Oh, you guys think sword dare is annoying? Oh yeah, yeah, look at this sword dare. Look at this sword dare. Now also, they introduce the signature system. Hey, take a look at that. That looks kind of familiar. Except it doesn't work. It straight up doesn't hit. You saw how the Thatch dodged it like three times? Yeah. Otherwise, you still have two separate signatures per character. So I don't know how many of you guys know this, but the reason why a character's signatures are called si Wait, I'm insane. Wait, I'm crazy! The reason why they're called signatures is because every character had one signature per weapon. And this is Hattori's. These other two are universal heavy attacks. So if I pick up the sword, it's the side sig. The side sig is Hattori's original signature. Otherwise, it's the Val Down Sig, a signature that was re uh, eventually repurposed. And then the N Sig for every sword character, or sorry, the, the side Sig for every sword character is what became Bodvar's Down Sig. So it's very, very interesting to play these old versions of Brahalla because you can really see as the years developed, they got so much more polished. Like edge guarding right now is extremely weird because of the force of the moves and how sometimes you get knocked into stun and sometimes you don't. The other thing that's really important to note is that jumps are way, way higher than recovery options. Now this is a change that happened later in Brawlith lifespan, but you'll notice that jumps are extremely high. It takes three jumps to go to the skybox here. High in the skybox, as opposed to recoveries which are a lot lower, you barely get any height here. Now this was a change that eventually was implemented so that jumps became less and less oppressive and uh, recovery options between became better, but also there's no spot dodge in the air which means no gravity cancelling which again was a mechanic that was introduced later. But yeah, it's just a very very er early version of Brahalla. but what I think is extremely impressive is that you compare this to alpha version 0.1 which is only a 5 month difference and it's a completely different game. Strategy is now important. You can 1v1. There's actual stun, there's actual combos that you can see are developed. And so this is about five months into Brahalla's lifespan. If, uh, if I can kill the thatch here easily enough, we can go a little bit further. That works. Now let's take a look at the first ever beta version of Brahalla. Welcome to Brawlhalla. This is two months later. They added an entirely new weapon, Katars. The UI is so much cleaner. Okay, we're gonna play Old Cassidy. Brawlhaven also got a map update. There's an actual loading screen now. This is two months. The frame rate is the biggest thing. I mean, this game looks smooth now. Gun Nair now has two shots. Gun Dare is no longer the infinitely spammable thing. I mean, it's still pretty quick, but if you remember how it was at the beginning, that just drops because, you know, <laughs> beta version of Brahalla but it's much, much cleaner. It's very, very cool. God, controlling this is, let me tell you, it is extremely difficult. There's no fast falling. There's no different jump heights, no dash, of course. One of the main movement options is being able to dodge so that you can maintain a certain height if you want to get an attack out, but it is extremely difficult to control when compared to modern Brahalla. But to compare this from alpha, which again was only a two month difference from the last version I showed you, it is extremely impressive. This is beta build 1.12.5. And why am I picking this one in particular? 
Well, you can notice a few things. It has ranked. It has a, a, a lore page now. But the reason why I'm selecting this in particular is because this is actually the first ever version that I won a tournament on. Now, there's a few things about this. You can notice there's stances in the game now. Now, I'm not going to select the stance because that happens. So you'll notice that Mammoth Fortress does look a little bit different, but overall, the game is pretty smooth if you actually take a look at it. The weapon spawns are, are look a little bit different. Every jump is extremely high. So you'll notice this is just three jump heights and I'm at the top of the screen. Now, the thing that you gotta remember about Old Brahalla is that the moves work very differently. A lot of Qatar moves are just god-awful terrible. So you kind of only really want to use Nair and you want to use Ser, because otherwise they kind of suck. They are kind of awful. Like Qatar Sidelight, eh, and then you get punished for hitting it. Now I've been trolling a little bit, so let's not actually lose this match here. I just got three Qatars in a row, kind of unlucky, but you'll also notice that there are three signatures now per character. Look at that Qatar Ser, look at that Qatar Ser. Hammer was kind of broken. You can kind of just stomp like this and keep moving. <laughs> like, and hammer stomp right now is kind of crazy, but this, this is something else. This is really something else. Uh, combos were also quite different. <laughs> Weapon throws also hit completely stacked and were pretty much instant. What's also very, very interesting about these old beta versions is that if you play them, your Brahala controls that are active are still active even though you didn't change them. So if you're playing modern Brawlhalla and you set specific controls, they will be the same controls in these versions of Brawlhalla. But there is one difference, was that, which is that the jump and aim up option was not in the game. So you have to change your jump and aim up option before you go into these older versions, before you go into the newer ones. I, I crashed it again. All right, now I will show you the monster that is Beta Axe. This is not okay. You only need one move. Only one move. And that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh, you guys think Axe Dare right now is bad. You guys think Axe Dare right now is bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, it hits as you're rising. This is the literally the only move you need. <laughs> it does everything. <laughs> Oh, I accidentally ledge canceled because of that I got hit. Oh no, I accidentally fell on the ledge because of that I got hit. No, no, this is the only thing you need. This is the only one. <laughs> I can't fast fall down there fast. What did tourneys look like back then? Oh, you want to know? I haven't really been using dodge much, but dodge is absolutely crazy. And the best part about it is that Terrace is not even the best character. Yeah, no, very cool. Very cool. You want to know who the best character is? I'll show you. I'll show you. First of all, high speed is important, right? Everyone knows high speed is important. But look at this. You cannot touch me. As I'm moving away, you cannot hit me. Whee! You literally cannot hit them. You just put out a wall. You just put out a wall. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good luck playing against this. Lucian was absolutely unfair, and part of why is because his color swaps were better than they are right now. But part of why is because the old Qatar signatures before Qatar had signatures are unfair. They're, they're just unfair. I don't know if this is a version with them, so I might have to go to an, into an older one. But yeah, this is the old Lucian design. Uh, oh, he does have his Qatar 6. Okay, we're going into an older version. All right, let's see. Hattori and Roland now have six unique specials. Okay, I think Lucian was a later one, so let's see. Yup, okay, okay, okay. So, old Katars are very interesting because most of their moves just don't work. Like, this is Sidelight. It kind of just doesn't work. Like, it doesn't hit them <laughs> at all. This bot is inhuman. This is a chosen bot before chosen bots. Katar Dare just drops all the time. So, like, Nair and, Nair and Sarah are, are just insanely broken. They make up for everything else. But here's the thing about old Katars, is the old signatures are not real. This is Katar Downsig. <laughs> this is... Oh, yeah, no, you're just dead. Yeah, that's old Katars. Now, Side Sig is also a little bit crazy. Let's just take a look. I mean, we can just take a look. It wouldn't hurt just take a look. Oh, that, that just dropped. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's just instant. It's just instant. You just die. Yeah, is that a downlight? No, this is a down sig. The other reason why Lucian was absolutely crazy was because of this. 
Yeah, you may notice there's an extra shot there on the gun sir. You can also just infinitely move back while moving forward, so you just can't hit him. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. Imagine, imagine trying to edge guard this. Yeah, no, good luck. Anyway, this is old Brahalla. It's quite a journey, quite a trip to go back in time and see how things were and see how much the game has really grown and changed. It's kind of remarkable that this is where we came from and, and you know, where we are now, I think is extremely polished, well-developed, insane game. Oh yeah, also there's no slide charging. Slide charging, if you don't know, was a bug and it got implemented in the game, into the game because it was fun. Um, you can really see how far we've come. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are coming in a day. It's kind of cool to go back and see the old versions of Brahalla when I started playing. If you enjoyed it, let me know. We can do this again. We did this all on stream, so, you know, we got the live reactions of the chat room to these absolutely bonkers moves. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.